Hello, and welcome to the new features video for Ban in the Box DAW plugin version 6. This is included with Ban in the Box 2024. The Ban in the Box VST DAW plugin has over 20 new features, including near instant playback direct from disk to audition various styles without creating WAV files. You can now load chords from MIDI files. There's support for shots, rests, and holds on utility tracks, and more. For Reaper DAW users, the plugin has added built-in specific support for the Reaper DAW API, allowing direct transfer of Band in the Box files to and from Reaper tracks, including tiny lossless files of instructions which play audio instantly from disk. The Band in the Box DAW plugin now features instant playback in the Style Picker. The Style Picker can now let you audition styles with the current song without having to render new tracks. Simply select a style in the style picker and press the green play button. You will instantly hear your song played with the selected style. You can now render tracks directly in the style picker. Press the new Render Tracks button. Select which track types you want with the track boxes or with the preset buttons. And press the Render Tracks Now button. The plugin will then render the tracks. You can now load chords directly from MIDI files. Go to the File menu, then choose Load Chords from MIDI File. Once you've located your MIDI file and opened it, Band of the Box will automatically process it and write the chords to the chord sheet. Shots, rests, and holds now work on the utility tracks. And if you want to exclude the utility tracks from rests, shots, and holds, you can use U1 to U16 for utility number 1 to utility number 16. For example, if you type in A dot dot U1, all instruments except the utility number 1 track will play a shot. You can also use the chord builder to exclude the utility tracks from rests, shots, and holds. There are a number of style picker user interface improvements. For example, the Actions button has been renamed to Options and is now located above the list. The Rebuild and Add-ons buttons are also moved to above the list. The green button to play the audio demo is now renamed to Demo and is now located above the list. There is now a Demo Options button in the form of this plus button that shows a menu to set demo options, for example if you want to loop the playback of the demo or set the volume of the demo. The Load Demo Song button has been removed. You can now use the plus button to load a demo song for the current style. Also in the Demo Options menu, there is an option to play the song instead of the audio demo when double-clicking on a style. A tempo control for the song preview has been added. You can type in a BPM or press the plus and minus keys to control the tempo of the song demo. Lastly, the size of the memo box changes as the style picker window size changes. For Reaper users, the plugin has added built-in specific support for the Reaper DAW API, allowing direct transfer of Band in the Box files to and from Reaper tracks, including tiny lossless files of instructions which play audio instantly from disk. When you run the plugin from Reaper, there is a panel to set the following options. Which BB tracks to send? Which Reaper tracks are the destination? Which bar to start the Band in the Box audio at? Start below Reaper track. This allows you to place the plugin tracks below the destination Reaper track. Overwrite Reaper track. This allows you to overwrite previous content on the destination Reaper track. Move to project folder, which moves the plugin tracks to the Reaper project folder. Use Reaper instructions. Enabling this option sends the Reaper instructions instead of rendering the audio tracks. This way is much faster. Render Wave and Instructions. Enabling this option generates audio files as well as the Reaper instructions. Send Tracks after generating. This automatically sends the tracks from the plugin into Reaper after they're generated. Send Audio for MIDI Track. Enabling this option sends rendered audio for MIDI tracks. And Send Real Charts with Audio. 
enable this option to send real charts with audio. Once you have the Reaper settings set up how you like, simply click the Send button to send the tracks into Reaper. If the tracks are not already generated, it will prompt you to generate them. Click Yes here. Once the tracks are generated, you can click Send, and the plugin will automatically start sending the tracks into Reaper. The best part of this feature is that it uses lossless data to insert the tracks into Reaper. This does so without having to generate audio files, and is much faster than previous methods. And this brings us to the end of our tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, or if you're having any trouble using the plugin, please feel free to reach out to our support department either through phone, email, or chat. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment down below. And as always, have fun! Thank you.